Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is almost 6.20. My sign-in is at 6.40, so I have a little bit of time before I have to get into the airport. We are starting a three-day day that is really probably the worst trip that I have on my schedule this month. It's a 323, which is the only 323 I have this month. The rest of them were either like a 321, 322. I think I have a 121. I think my next trip is maybe like a 221. So this is this trip has the most legs that I'll work in like a single trip. But yeah, it's a 323 and it's two short overnights. So I'm not really going to be able to do a whole lot. The only reason I kept this trip is because... I have a friend so tomorrow I have a Charleston layover and I have a friend that lives there so I think I'm gonna see her for dinner otherwise I probably would have tried to trade it into something a little bit better my alarm went off at 3 30 this morning and I got six hours of sleep which is usually fine but for some reason I'm so tired today <laughs> so hopefully everything goes smoothly because I'm exhausted but I do want to run by the crew room before we start the trip. So I'm going to get all my stuff together and head into the airport. And hopefully day one will go well. <laughs> For those of you that are new to my channel, all my trips start and end in Charlotte because I am a Charlotte-based flight attendant. I was expecting this trip to have mostly light flights because school was back but that was not the case for this Wednesday of us flying our first flight was to Boston here was our route and the flight time was 1 38 then our next flight was back to Charlotte which that flight was even more full than our first flight we had jump seaters and everything like slam full here was the route and that flight was a little bit longer it was 1.46 flying time. I actually brought food to this trip, so I had some bacon, chicken, ranch, pasta before we did our last leg to Cleveland. Our last flight of the day, we switched planes and we were on the 321 Neo, which is a little different than the basic 321s, not including the 321T, but it's different because there is an exit row with windows instead of a door. So most of our 321s have four doors. This one only has three doors and then like an exit row with windows and then the third door the seats are like in front of the door which I think is bizarre <laughs> and yeah so that's the difference the other ones the doors aren't blocked like that by the seats but another cool feature of the Neo is you can do fun things with the lights so party mode is just gonna be a blue and red like American themed light which it looks super cool at night it was still the middle of the day so you couldn't it wasn't as like i don't know in your face but anyways our last flight of the day like i said was to cleveland and here was the route flight time was 104 and this flight wasn't nearly as full as our other ones which was a nice way to end the day our longest schedule of duty day is officially over at least on paper the rest of our days get a little bit easier so we love that it is 5 32 in about 30 minutes the crew is going to meet downstairs and we're going to go across the street there's this little tavern that's right beside the hotel so we're going to go have dinner and drinks even though i can't decide if i want to do dinner yet because i brought food and i'm really bad about bringing food and then going and spending money on food and not eating my food and then when i get home I don't want to eat it anymore, so I think I'm going to force myself to heat up my food. And then if I'm still a little hungry, I can get an appetizer or something. But these crappy trips are always the trips when you have the best crews. Probably because we're all junior and don't hate our job yet. <laughs> but <laughs> we don't have anything to complain about yet, I guess. Um, but anyways, I'm going to change clothes. And then, yeah, I think I'm going to go heat up my food, make myself eat it and then meet up with the crew for a little crew debrief. I ate my chicken and rice and green beans for dinner, which according to my crew members was the right move because the restaurant I went to was super cute, but you had to wait forever and the food was just okay, according to them. But we got back to the hotel and I went ahead and washed my face, did all my little skincare routine things, which I'm so thankful that I can bring oversized liquids through TSA with my uniform on because 
pretty much every single thing I have to use for my face wash, like skincare routine, whatever, is over the limit. So we're super thankful that I can bring them through because that would be really sad. But then I took some melatonin gummies, brushed my teeth, and then did my devotion and called it a night. It is day two. Today we go through Dallas and end up in Charleston around two this afternoon. I think it's about an eight and a half hour duty day for us today, so not terrible. But we have about 10 minutes till van time. I'm gonna go ahead and go downstairs because they gave us a voucher to use to get um, little snacks or drinks. So I'm gonna go see what they have down there and take advantage of my little voucher. So let's go down so we can do that and then still have time to make van. When you fly through different airports all the time, like I do, a lot of times they start to look the same, but every now and then you will fly through one that is unique to like the city. So Cleveland being the rock and roll capital of the world has all these little guitars all throughout the airport, which is super cool. And we love a sweet note from our agent. It just sets the tone for a great day and we love that. Our flight to Dallas was the longest of the entire three day. It was two hours, 14 minutes, and it was gonna be a little bit more full than it ended up being because we had a group of 30 that was connecting to Maui, but obviously they ended up not showing up because of the fires that are going on there. Then here is the view from the cockpit. It was pretty cloudy though, so you couldn't really see anything. I've started reading Matthew Perry's memoir, which I have enjoyed a lot more than Spare. Then we made our way down to Charleston. Flight time was 2.07, and it was a lot more full than our flight to Dallas, mainly because there's only a couple flights a day to Charleston from Dallas, so most of the time they're full. But I needed a pick-me-up, so I added some energy to my water before we landed in Charleston. We just got to the hotel. We left Dallas a little bit late because one of our crew members was illegal to do the whole trip, but this trip was on his schedule for the month. So what they did was they let him work the first half of the trip that he was legal for, and then today, instead of coming to Charleston with us, he did a deadhead back to Charlotte and they ended up flying a Charlotte based um, flight attendant out to Dallas to pick up the last half of the trip. So her flight got in just right before our flight to Charleston. So we had to wait for her to make it to our plane before we could start boarding. So we boarded a little bit late, um, just waiting for her to get to the plane because y'all know that Dallas airport is huge and it takes forever to get from one place to the other, even with the Skylink, cause it's just so ginormous. So we left like 10 minutes late, but we were able to make up time and still got in early. So we love that. Also my friend that I'm meeting for dinner texted me earlier today and said that she ended up not having to go into work today. So I get to see her a little bit earlier and for a little bit longer time. So that's awesome because tomorrow is another early van. So when I originally texted her, I was like, we can go to dinner, but like it'll literally have to be like dinner. And then I come right back to the hotel because it's gonna be so early, but now I'll be able to see her for a little bit longer. It is three o'clock. So I'm going to change clothes really quickly so I can be ready. I think she's on her way to come pick me up now. So I gotta make sure I'm ready before she gets here. <laughs> so I don't have to make her wait outside. Um, and then we'll go have a fun little Charleston adventure. But before I change clothes, here is my uniform check. I went back to the blazer because the cardigan, I just don't like the way it looks, but the blazer is a lot hotter than the cardigan, but it just looks a lot better in my opinion. But anyways, let's change clothes. <laughs> I used to live next door to this girl, so I would see her all the time, and now we only get to see each other a couple times a year, which is so sad, but we had dinner and drinks at Shim Creek and just caught up. I just got back to the hotel. I stayed out a little bit later than I wanted to, but that is okay because friendships are just so important to me. I think it is so important to spend quality time with your friends, and that is what we did tonight, so it was worth it. Tomorrow is go-home day, so it's fine, I'll get home tomorrow, I can catch up on sleep tomorrow. But I am tired and I am ready to go to bed. Tomorrow's our shortest scheduled duty day. So if everything goes well, it'll be a good day. It will have been a good trip. So with that, good night guys. I will see you tomorrow for day three, go home day. 
It is day three, go home day. I did not sleep very good last night. I think when I don't get in the bed when I want to, like in my head, and I start doing my calculations of like how much sleep I'm gonna get, I think I start to freak myself out that I'm not gonna like wake up for my alarm or that I just start already thinking about how tired I'm gonna be. So I just don't sleep good because I'm like thinking about that. Because I woke up like every 30 minutes last night. It was crazy, but it's go home day. So hopefully everything goes smoothly because <laughs> that would not be fun if it gets delayed or extended in any way today. But I did want to say, I forgot to mention this last night. So a lot of you guys know that I am like pretty strong in my faith that I do my devotions pretty regularly and all that, but that did not always used to be the case. Like I've always been a Christian. I've always believed in God. I grew up in church, but I never used to like talk about my faith like I do now. And I think that was just because I wasn't really like practicing it like I am now. Like I wasn't in my Bible. I wasn't like as devoted to going to church like I am now. And I've just noticed like over the years since I've been doing my devotions and like been dedicated to like making that a priority that I am a lot more comfortable talking about it with people like with strangers like I used to if it ever came up would kind of say yeah like I believe in God but that was it like that's where the conversation would start and end like it didn't go any further and last night we met these two guys and we started talking to them and one of them was just like are you religious like ask me and so I was like, yeah, I'm a Christian. And then we had this full blown, like deep conversation about God and Christianity, which is crazy. Cause I used to would never have done that because I would have just been scared of like the judgment I would have gotten or like people's reactions. And I just love that over the years, that is not a fear of mine anymore. Like I'll talk about it. I don't care. You know, if it makes people upset, then it makes people upset. Like. It doesn't bother me anymore what people think about me when it comes to like that whereas it used to be like i don't want to turn people away like i don't want people to not be my friend or not talk to me because i'm a christian which is so silly and i'm so thankful that that is not a thing anymore because i've noticed too like over the years that so many of these conversations have just happened like organically like i didn't bring up religion like this guy did and he was like genuinely like wanting to talk about it which is crazy but anyways, let's go catch the van before I get left at this hotel. <laughs> and then that really would ruin day three, <laughs> go home day. Our first leg of the day was the shortest of the entire trip. It was 38 minutes to get from Charleston back to Charlotte. And it's full service for me up in the front, which is insane because there's 20 people and it's 38 minute flight, which means you have like 10 minutes to do the service. And this particular flight, everybody wanted multiple drinks. And I was like, what? So that was a lot. I wanted some actual breakfast because I didn't really have anything. So I went to the barbecue place in the middle concourse in Charlotte. Then we made our way down to Tampa. That flight was 114 and it wasn't as full as I expected it to be, which was kind of nice. And those passengers were a lot more chill than my first flight of the day. So I had plenty of time to drink my coffee and read my book, which was a nice little break because I was stressed out after that morning flight, like for real. Then our last flight of the day was the most full flight we had the whole day going back down to Charlotte. This was our route and the flight time was 1.20. Whew, I am so happy to be in my car. So thankful today went smoothly because I am so tired and I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Like the start of the morning, I was over it. I think that first one of the day just put like a bad taste in my mouth because it gave me the feeling that I was gonna be doing a lot today. Like, cause that was just a lot. That service was just a lot this morning. And so I was ex like, is this going to be every single one of my legs today? But my Tampa turn flights, the people were super chill. So we love that. And it really helped cause I was so tired <laughs> and just so over it at the start of the morning, but we made it, we made it. It is 1230. So I'll get home around two o'clock. 
and I'm off tomorrow. And then I work the next day, but it's a late sign-in. So that means that whole trip, I won't have early sign-ins, which will be a nice break for my early mornings. Cause I kind of figured out last month, like, I need breaks in between early morning flights, but I do think I also need to switch it up with some like afternoon flights to just give my body a break from just absolutely horrible sleep. I still don't get a lot of great sleep on the, the afternoon flights, but it's better than all these super early mornings. But anyways, I am going to head home and possibly take a nap and just enjoy my day off before starting another trip. But as always, any questions, comments, whatever, put them in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.